I have so many really good memories uh, that are linked to my childhood and my teenage years at DSG. I thoroughly enjoyed the environment. My first day at DSG. What I remember about that day is the chapel service. I remember sitting next to my parents. I could feel their excitement as well about this whole new step of my life. I met lots of lovely people who are still my friends to this day. First three people I turned to in my life are all, all DSG girls. I think one of the most important attributes I learned in DSG was confidence and self-belief. And I must say that's something that I continue to carry through in my career, that sense of anything is possible and there's nothing I can't do if I'm willing to work hard at it and put my mind to it. And so I think the foundation that is culturally diverse, diverse in its education, allows you to be able to choose what most resonates with your character and person. Being a girl in green for me conjures up memories of a wonderful eight years where I built some of the most important and lasting friendships of my life. It's that history and you can feel it. I mean, the stories these walls could tell. To be at a school like DSG is a privilege. It speaks to the woman that I chose to be and I was groomed to be at school. I could never take it for granted. I thoroughly enjoyed um, the exposure at DSG to the different persons that were part of the school. I hope that when a girl leaves the school at the end of her matric year, that she leaves with a sense of social responsibility and with a, like a deep passion and a desire to create change wherever she goes in the world. The school is certainly now at a place where it is advocating for equality, for dignity, for Ubuntu. This is actually all a big, <laughs> a big uh, scheme of ours with you to impact the world out there. To be a girl in green is to be proud of who you are, where you come from, but still be able to fit into a community of diverse people. To be a girl in green is to be a woman of substance.